Welcome to the UEFA Champions League Fantasy Football Show presented by PlayStation with me, Tancredi Palmeri. <laughs> me, Joe Worsley, and everyone's favourite geezer from Iceland, Chelsea legend, Barcelona superstar, UEFA Champions League winner. <laughs> me, Ida Good Johnson. Well, that show we have prepared for you is the last game of the group stage. That's right, Gentle Ben, Ben Nevis and Ben Ted, they're all great Bens, but what do they know about the Champions League? That's right, Ida, nothing. We visited Ben Beaker ahead of match day six. How do you feel? Comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Is it Excellent. cold enough for you? So we have mm, calculated the points that you have scored with fantasy football at your time Champions League. So you had 78 with Chelsea, 44 with Barcelona. Weirdly enough, you won the Champions League with Barcelona. You actually even scored your last goal with Chelsea against Barcelona in Champions League, and the first one in Champions League with Barcelona against Chelsea. So you want your ex-girlfriends to remember you. <laughs> Can you tell us uh, your impression from that night in Rome when you lifted the Champions League? Uh, it was an amazing night. It's uh, a moment uh, that I will treasure forever. Disappointed not to have come on as a substitute, but in the end, one of the proudest moments. Have you scored a hat-trick in the Champions League, Ida? Unfortunately, I haven't. No. Well, neither has this guy. Marco Royce. Well, we thought he had. That's why we even had his card made up in gold. <laughs> but uh, no, he scored two. The last one was given as an own goal, which is a shame, really, because it's his first game back all season. 16 points on the night. What a comeback, eh? But still, it was Dortmund 8, Leija 4. What a game. The game with the most goals in the history of Champions League, with fantasy football speaking, that's not the check for you either, <laughs> means one, no, one, 101 points, fantasy points, scored in that game. Elsewhere, Sergio Rico hadn't conceded a single goal in the Champions League all season, up until they came across Juventus. Let's have a look at where that clean sheet went. Lucky, clean sheet, sure, Sergio Rico. But who was lucky in that game is this kid, it's a baby, Moise Keen, the first millennium baby to debut in Champions League. He's a bit older than me. He was born on 20 February 2000. On that day, you were playing for Bolton, you were looking ahead for a big game against Portsmouth, which we went on to win 3-0. Bob Taylor, Klaus Jensen, Robbie Elliott were the scorers. Not you that day. One of the few days that I didn't score, eh? <laughs> what were you doing, Tank? <laughs> uh, 20 February 2000, I was in a college party. We didn't keep a clean sheet either. Now it's time for the Moussa Dembele versus Moussa Dembele. Dembele! Who was the best Moussa Dembele in match day five? Well, we have Moussa Dembele on one point. And we have Moussa Dembele, two points. Who was better? Moussa Dembele for me. Dembele! Unfortunately, the Moussa Dembele is one progress, but there is another Dembele, Usman Dembele, that will progress with Borussia Dortmund, and he's playing at Bernabeu against Real Madrid in match day six. Well, it's a big week for Benfica coming up, but what's more important, a group decider against Napoli or picking up fantasy points? It's got to be fantasy points, isn't yeah. it? Já tive dois. Se me elige para tu equipo, no te vas a arrepentir. Tres goles y un par de asistencias. Já tive dois jogos sem sofrer golos. Já defendi um penalti. Se me escolheres para a baliza, não vai te arrepender. Be 
Benfica, a club known not only for winning two European Cups, but also because it's one of the few in the world where you haven't played. This guy, Eduardo Salvio, leading them in the last game, he has contributed to seven of the nine goals scored in group stage by Benfica. Call the lights, it's quick fire time. No, 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 no. Are you ready, Ida? Yes, sir. Fantasy of formation, 3-4-3 or 4-4-2? 3-4-3. Tea or iced tea? Iced tea. Best friend in football? Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Reindeer or Reindorf? Reindeer. Fantasy team, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Favourite place you have played in? Reykjavik, Eindhoven, Bolton, London, Barcelona, Monaco, Stoke, Athens, Brugge, Shija, Zwang, Molde or Pune? Not Stoke, anyway. Are the following Good Johnson or Bad Johnson? Ronnie Johnson. Good Johnson. Jack Johnson. Good Johnson. Glenn Johnson. Good Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Good Johnson. Boris Johnson. Bad Johnson. Ida. Good Johnson. <laughs> Getting a bit tiring now, fellas, isn't it? Uh, sorry. Now let's hear from Jamie and his fantasy football guide. So, it's the last match day of the group stage, but what does that mean for your fantasy team? Well, it's time to think about your transfers carefully. Some of the bigger clubs have already been good enough to qualify for the knockout stages, and that means some of the bigger names will be rested as a result. It opens up the possibility for increased game time for the likes of Leroy Sané, Denis Suarez or Lucas Vasquez. Now, if you're looking for players in the engine room of your team, the midfielders not to pick are the defensive ones. Players like Francis Coquelin, Sergio Busquets and Timue Bakayoko make huge contributions to their teams, but not in categories that score fantasy points. Finally, if you haven't used your wildcard yet, don't. After match day six, you can completely overhaul your team with unlimited transfers before the round of 16 begins. Okay, take your cards, put it on the table, your tip for match day six. My tip for match day six is Edison Cavani. Some few points scored. Scored a few points already. Scored two goals against Ludogorets already. Uh, and I fancy him to get another couple. I pick another French player playing for a French team. It's Alexandre Lacazette, Lyon, Sevilla. It's a very level game. It could be very important. Lacazette almost scored in every game he played for Lyon in this season. Well, I'm going to go a bit further east. I'm going to go with this lad, Dimitri Polos of Rostov. They've got PSV coming up. He scored twice against him last time. He's got three and five now, chucking a couple of assists as well. It's a decent proposition, this kid. And he's cheap. 6.2 mil. Slip that. <laughs> oh, it's a bargain, isn't it, Ida? <laughs> OK, your team now, the full team. It's called, I would have surprised, the Iceman. Tell us. I've gone for Ariola in goal. OK. Uh, excellent. I hope to see a clean sheet from him. Mm -hmm. Going for an ex-teammate, Gerard Piquet at the back uh, to control everything. Sergio Busquets in front of him in midfield with Modric, the midfield maestro, even though he's wearing the Real Madrid shirt. I have a great admiration. Ex-teammate of mine for a brief spell at Tottenham Hotspur. And up front we have a small surprise in uh, Lionel Messi. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Uh, who not everyone can afford, but my fantasy team can afford. Indeed. Him. Messi, Muller, but there is in the middle. I'm curious, why did you pick the younger? I have no idea, actually. So where do you think that team is going to uh, put you on the leaderboard then? Ida, Guy Scamandietto is at the top on 57, but he cheated. <laughs> he overspent, so he's effectively ruled himself out. So, leading is Ledley King on 50. Do you think you can top Ledley's yeah, I'm, 50? I'm quietly confident. I'm a little bit worried that it's the last game of the group stages, so oh. a lot of teams are already qualified. Good point. Taking their foot off the gas a little bit. Mm, they might do, but I can still see myself getting above Ledley King. Let's have a look at the uh, the world leaderboard. Girl next door, again! Oh, How many weeks running is that now, Tank? Three, four, forever, I guess. Probably. Well, the player with the most points at the end of the group stage wins a PlayStation 4 and a 12-month PlayStation Plus membership code. What do you think about that little bundle, Ida? Amazing stuff, isn't it? Your very <laughs> own membership code. Right, that's nearly it, but before we go, we've got some injury news for you. Gareth Bale, firstly, the Welsh wizard. He's out. He's got a sore ankle. 
also Juventus, Barzaglio that he was not there, no defense for them. Leonardo Bonucci out for two months, Dani Alves out for four months. And in better news, this lad's back. Ever heard of him either? Recognize him. Yeah. I'm lucky enough to play with him. Yeah. Magical player. Well, that's it. That's all we've got time for. We're going into the winter break. So, thanks for joining us, Ida. Have you enjoyed it? Wonderful. <laughs> Getting a bit tired of that. <laughs> and that's my cue. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, come on. Stay with us. Some people. <laughs>